Hello guys, this is Zuma, and this is going to be a free fall mob on the map village. Now this was my first game of the day and I'm just picking a gun which I haven't used it in this free for all series, which was the Skyrell. And then when you come into a game, this is the last score that you want to see. The leader's got 24 kills, they only need 6 more to win, and when the person in front has got this much of a lead, you don't really think you're going to win the game or, you know, you're definitely not going to get a MOAB. All you can do is just play your best and make sure that the people who are in front make them work for that win. And also I've done 7 of these free fall mob tips and tricks videos, but it kept on giving me maps that I've already done, so when it gave me village I thought yes it's worth staying in just to give me some practice on one of the maps that I haven't done yet. And unfortunately I die on this streak, but that's my only death. I was throwing my portable radar and recovery time was just too long and I couldn't get my gun up and locked on in time. Now I'll just pause the scoreboard for a second. Since I've come in the game, the person in first place hasn't got one kill at all. So keep an eye on Mac Attack, you can see how many times I kill him during this gameplay. And you can't help but think, if I've got 5 kills by the time the leader's got none, it really does spare you want to see how far you can push this game. And what's coming up, I have a little duel with this guy behind the car, and using every bit of that stock pro to try and win this gunfight, but luckily someone shoots him in the back and then I get that person. But I didn't realise at the time that that was the person in second place, and then I go around the corner and then kill Mac Attack. So I was still doing my part as much as I can to try and keep him off the scoreboard, and you can probably tell on the earlier streak, this is where I like to hang around, so I'm just trying to move into position. And now, we'll finally go into how I like to play Village. So we'll bring up the map, make it a blueprint, and show you the spawns. And the area that I like to work, which is always consistent for me, probably could have seen from the streak at the start of the game, I like to work this area. There's always a nice steady flow of enemies, there's always a lot of action, and it always seems you get a lot of kills here in a short space of time, so this is where I like to work. And where I like to put my portable radar is here. I'm placing it here is just what's worked well for me, you know, over the last year now. But if you do want to try and cover the three spawns, then you can chuck it into this room here. It's quite protected and if you want to chuck it in there then fair enough, you know, you can cover the three spawns but I've never had no problems with people like destroying the portable radar in the other spot. So yeah, just do whichever you find is best at the time. Well that's the spawn analysis covered and that's how I like to play Village. And now I'll go into my perk and gun setup. So I'm using the Scar L with extended mags and silencer with a red camo that I'm liking lately. And my perk setup is Extreme Conditioning Pro, Assassin Pro and Stalker Pro. And my first specialist unlocks are Slight of Hand Pro, Sit Rep Pro and Hardline Pro. And if you're struggling to get those free for all mobs then this is definitely the setup that I'd recommend for you. And you just saw then I knifed the air. I had no idea why that happened as I play on tactical so for me to knife I actually have to press the circle. So that was a bit worrying, I thought my controller was messing up. And you'll see in a second that the host migrates. So I thought this was just a good time to check my control settings and make sure I actually was on tactical. Which I was, so I don't know what happened then. So as this host is migrating, I'm thinking, is it migrating because it's a laggy connection? Or is it because someone's left? And then when the game reconnects, I see that there's no one with no kills. But I still treated it as if I was really far behind. And then saw that the bad girl, I think that was second place, left the game. So I was like, oh, is Mac Attack still in here? But I didn't want to look at the scoreboard, just because there was no time. Like, as soon as I killed someone, I could hear someone, like, behind me or around the corner. And I just felt like, as soon as I looked at the scoreboard, I thought, that's it, I'm going to die. So I was just trying to stay in the zone and keep this steady flow of kills going. But you'll see in a second, there's a lot of people connecting, a lot of people timing out. So all this stuff was going on around me. I was trying to keep an eye on the scoreboard, and then I was trying to look at who was coming in and out of the game. I was just concentrating on not dying. But as you can see, the scoreboard has finally caught up with the game, and he's still four kills away from winning, which I thought was strange, because that means he hadn't killed someone in a long time. So now I finally look at the scoreboard to see where everyone is, and I can't see first place anyway. So I come back out of it, and now his score's gone too, and now suddenly I'm winning. And now the game's looking a lot different to when I entered it. First and second place have now gone, and now I'm the one in the winning seat, which was a big surprise to me. So I was just thinking, oh, you've done the hard work now, Azuma. All you have to do now is bring on that Moab to complete this gameplay. But there's still a lot left to play in this game. I think I got 5 kills at the start before I died. It means I'm on a 15 kill streak so I've got 9 more kills to go. Well, eight now. And although a lot of people have left, luckily it did become a stale game and a lot of people did enter. So I still need to keep my wits about me as there's going to be a lot of enemies around this area. Oh, and I forgot to mention that I'm finally starting to use the C4 now. And I'm about to use it in a second, but I can hear someone behind me, but they're not coming up on the radar because they've got assassin, but I know someone's there. So I do chuck it over the wall, but don't get a kill, but finally they come around the corner so I can get an easy kill. And you will see that I like to patrol just on the outside of the spawns, because I do want to give them every chance that they are going to spawn in there. And if I'm patrolling inside, then they are going to spawn there. So if you do just stay on the outside, you give them every chance that they are going to spawn around you instead of somewhere else. So now I'm only two kills away from the Moab, so I'm just biding my time, not trying to make any mistakes. Just have a quick look at the scoreboard, get stunned, but finally see a guy coming towards me, kill him, go around the corner as there's someone in church, get that guy for the Moab, call it in straight away as there's only one kill left. So I hear someone coming, so I drop for the final kill. Yes, what a game this was. I couldn't believe it when I got it, and I couldn't wait to show you guys it as well, so I hope you enjoyed it too. And that's the 8th Free For All Moab Tips and Tricks video. And now that Black Ops 2 is just around the corner, I'm going to be playing a lot more of the first Black Ops, just because I really haven't shown me playing it on my channel, I'm just going to do some solo live comms and show you guys what I'm like on Black Ops. 
So look out for that. And that's the end of this game, guys. So the final score was 30 to 1. I just want to say thank you for all the support you've shown on this Tips and Tricks series. It's been amazing. So just thank you so much for that. And that's the end of the game, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Take care.